am bringing you a build for Crunch. And like my last video for a build, please don't click off because there's no gameplay at Crunch. I don't think I said the last video, so I'm gonna specify so no one dislikes it. This is not gameplay of Crunch. This is a build I am making for him. I am using Fang Mao as the placeholder because he has the same exact affinities, Fury and Order, as Crunch has. So I'm just showing what this is the build that I'm going to use for Crunch on the day he comes out. I'm gonna do a stream for it and stuff. So don't get all crazy on me of oh no you didn't put Crunch gameplay man because of course what do you think I mean. If even the developers aren't releasing gameplay, but that one trailer, of course, I'm not gonna have it. I mean, I have 120 subs. You think I'm like, I mean, dude, no one can get gameplay. Of course, a small chain like this isn't getting gameplay. <laughs> anyway, so on to the build. So you start with health potion, mana potion, and a strike token, which is a very good setup for any melee character at the beginning of the game. Well, you know, except for Ector, because he uses energy damage, but any physical character. Um, then you start out with a flash fire piston. And you get a minor strike, and then you get minor strike and kinetic. And you might be like, "What? Well, kinetic might not be that good for him. He seems more like a bruiser, you know." But like, he relies on his abilities more than other bruisers. But it'll make sense in a second. Then, um, actually, you don't need flash prison. You want to get the admin edge right now, and they're exactly the same. So it doesn't matter which one you get. Um, so yeah, you just go ahead and get that one, just for a little bit extra health you want to get, you know helpful or you get the flash piston if you want because it's a bit cheaper but I like to get the hilts up first anyway so after that you want to go and get the flash piston fully upgrade that and by this point you should have your ultimate and um well my all not all of you may know this but his ultimate has two passives along with it because his ultimate itself is pretty lame I mean it repeats his last ability which is good but that'd be really lame if it was alone but no, it comes with two passives. The one thing about every third ability, it's increased power. And also, every basic attack you do takes um, off some of your cooldown. So, I gave him kinetic so that every time he gets a basic attack on... I'm not sure if it's on anyone or just a player. Even just a player, it's still good. Because um, it cuts your cooldown off so he can do way more combos really fast and kill people. That's why I put some of the, all the damage so I can kill people fast. I put a little bit of health just to make them a little bit stronger, but I, it's mostly damage build. Anyway, so after that, you want to go and get your next enemy edge. And they're, you know, both the same, so it doesn't matter. And now you want to go down here and get your incessant onslaught, which is not a very used card, so I'm going to explain to you. It's pretty simple. Basic attacks on players grant plus 10% cooldown reduction for 4 seconds. Which is very good for him because it gives him even more cooldown reduction from his basic attacks. That's another reason I have the attack speed so I can get even more cooldown reduction from this. Um, I mean, you don't really need super fast cooldown reduction, but like, well, actually, I'm wrong. Okay, the attack speed only works for his ultimate, I think. But either way, it still, it still is a very good card. And be like, oh, it's only if you got a normal card, it'd be plus 7.5 cooldown reduction. It's only one point extra cooldown reduction, and it can only be used on a player. Is that really worth it? Yes, because he only ever uses his abilities. I mean, not always, but he almost always should use his abilities when there are players around and not on minions. On his minions, he should use his basic attack. That's why another reason I gave him the um, attack speed, so he can use it on the minions. And then when he comes to players, it becomes worthwhile because he also has another use for his attack speed. And do not upgrade your instant onslaught yet, because, I mean, you can if you want, but you probably shouldn't, because it's pretty expensive, and you have no upgrade bonus, because it it's a passive. Um, next, you want to, um, let me see, uh, yeah, so at this point, um, you can either get your Amulet of the Veteran, or a tip plate, you know, depending on, um, your, like, what the enemy is, if it's three or more casters, I mean, sorry, casters, what? Three or more people using energy damage, you want to get the Amulet of the Veteran, or three or more people using physical damage, you want to get Temper Plate. Um, but you could do that, but I would rather do this, um, in which you go and replace your cheap Flash Fire Pistons with, um, your more expensive ones. <coughs> yeah, sorry. Um, and then, yeah, you can just go replace them with that. And then I would probably say I'm gonna get the name of the veteran uh, or timber plate, whichever one comes 
first. Probably can replace you use more, but either way works. Then you want to get the incessant onslaught, and uh, <coughs> you want to fully upgrade that. And uh, I forgot to mention, um, you want to discard health motion, health motion, what? Health potion, mana potion, and strike token. Probably, probably by the time like you got your first flash fire piston, have an edge, and right when you're about to get the flash fire piston, you um, delete your health potion, mana potion, strike token, so you can purchase it quicker. Um, so that's the build, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, oh yeah, I never mentioned the build. I called it Rock'em Sock'em Robot because I mean, admit it, guys, he is crunches is almost literally a Rock'em Sock'em Robot. Like look at this. Just look up Rock Rock'em Sock'em Robot if you don't know what it is. But he's almost literally that. They're just these toy robots with his giant fist, and they just go around punching other robots. And yeah, so he's basically that. <laughs> Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and remember when he comes out on November 15th, I'm going to be live streaming him. Don't know exactly when, but I'm going to do it sometime that day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and God bless, and happy gaming.